Good morning everyone. It is the first day of spring today. The first official day of spring and the weather's not really giving spring right now but I'm hoping it's going to brighten up this afternoon. I think it probably will um, because it's quite kind of hazy and cloudy and the sun is poking through a little bit but speaking of spring I have been on the hunt for some new pieces to add to my wardrobe. I've been doing a huge clear out over the last, I would say the last couple of months really. Um, I haven't gone into like my summer stuff yet, but all of my spring bits and bobs, my autumn winter stuff, I've been just clearing things out, getting rid of things that no longer serve a purpose that I don't really reach for. As you know, I think I say this all the time, but I absolutely hate clutter. I hate having too much in my wardrobe and I just, I then find that I'm not wearing things because there's too much in there and I just hate it. I'd rather have a smaller collection of things that are really beautiful, that fit me perfectly and that I'm always gonna wear. So as I've been clearing out and kind of selling things, donating things, I have been looking to add things in and looking for like the perfect pieces that I've kind of noticed there are gaps in my wardrobe. I have a few things to show you this morning, a little try on. I feel like I haven't done any style related content for a while and it's just been like at home vlogs. So I'm really excited to get into spring and start doing some more fashion related videos, transitional season, styling up bits. I think over the next month or so there'll be a lot more styling content to come so if that's your thing then I hope you enjoy. This section of the video is in paid partnership with a brand called Petite Studio NYC. If you haven't heard of them they are an American based brand specifically for petite women which is something I talk about quite a lot on here especially with things like dresses and trousers and things that are often way too long for me. I am always taking up my trousers with Wonderweb, taking things to the tailors, cutting my jeans. So to find a brand that's actually really, really beautiful and specifically for petite women is so incredible. They're also a slow fashion brand, so they don't bring out huge collections. Everything's really curated and quite a short run, which I love because I am, as much as I do still shop at kind of high street stores, it's really nice to support more independent brands and support a team that are so dedicated to what they do. The team in New York is made up of all petite women, so they kind of know what they're talking about. Everything is measured and designed on real women, which I absolutely love. So I'm very excited to show you these pieces. I've got an array of bits from dresses to kind of more summery pieces and things that can kind of be layered up when the weather is not amazing during spring and also some pieces that I can wear throughout all the seasons which is amazing. Starting off with a knitted dress, this is a black kind of like ribbed knitted dress. I love this slit detail, it's really flattering. I love how it looks when it moves. It just skims the body so it's not too hugging, it's not too tight. The neckline is this beautiful sweetheart which I think is so flattering. I also really like this white edging. I think that's such a nice detail to pick out with accessories. The length of this is also really, really nice for spring summer because it's not too long. It doesn't feel too dressy. I think when it kind of stops at this point, it's a really nice everyday dress to just throw on. I've styled this up with just some white kitten heels from Zara, just to bring out that white detail and just to dress it up a little bit. This is the perfect thing for days in London, city breaks, dinners, all of those kind of occasions. I actually have um, a little weekend away coming up and this is the perfect thing for going to dinner in a hotel where you wanna be a little bit dressed up, but you don't want to look too over the top in a massive fancy outfit. This feels dressy, I feel smart in this, but it's still really comfortable and easy to dress down. Now, one part of this dress that I think is so clever is you can actually remove the sleeves. So I'm gonna show you how they are buttoned on and this essentially means you have two dresses in one. So the long sleeve is going to work for the colder months, even going into autumn, winter. This is a really gorgeous dress. It's going to work all year round. So you just remove your sleeve like so. Tried on these pieces the other day just to make sure that they all fit and like everything was perfect. 
and I actually can't decide if I prefer this dress long sleeve or short sleeve because I love them both. I'm really loving that kind of Meredith Blake 90s quite chic feminine style at the moment. I just think it is so elegant and beautiful and just really timeless. Such simple silhouettes and really basic but they look so chic. So this is the dress without the long sleeves and I just love the shape of this. I think even just wearing this on holiday with like a little white jacket, a white shirt over your shoulders, it's so beautiful. Another dress and I, I can't tell you how much I love this. I think this is my favourite piece out of the entire collection. This is so beautiful from the colour to the fit, the detailing. It, this is just my dream mini dress. It's not too short so it's perfect to wear in the daytime but equally you could dress this up with a little pair of heels and a nice evening bag and it feels really elegant. I love the fact it has pockets, it just adds that really nice detailing. If I come close and show you the details, you can just really see it's so stunning. This kind of creamy buttermilk tweed, beautiful buttons down the front, it's got this little bit of shimmer, it's a bit more fancy, a bit more girly, but the shape of this, the tailoring is just stunning. I got this in an extra small, and I think I probably could have gone one size down just so that it really hugs in at the waist and just fits like a glove. But I'm more than happy with this fit and I could get it tailored if I really wanted to. But wow, this is just beautiful. I just love this. This dress just screams spring, summer, city break, rosé, shopping. This is just such a dream. I absolutely love this dress. I cannot wait till it warms up a little bit and I can wear this because it's just beautiful. Even if you just put a little crop jacket on your shoulders, it's perfect for all weather types and actually this would go really really well with these little Zara kitten heels that I have. I love these, they're such a good trusty heel because the height is so little. Just a cream pair of shoes, stunning. Absolutely love this dress so so much i really wish the weather was going to be nice over my birthday because this would be the perfect little birthday dress another absolutely beautiful dress this is a white broderie anglaise mini dress it has this little belt detail as well which you can remove completely so you can tie this as tight as you want you can tie it in a bow you can have the bow wherever you want i've just tied it at the back um so it kind of creates this really flat band across the middle and then you can kind of play around with how the dress sits. This style of dress is literally what I wear every single day when it's warm. Something really easy to throw on, you don't really have to put much thought into it because you're throwing on a beautiful dress and it's so easy. The length of this again is perfect. Another reason why shopping from a specifically petite brand is so brilliant for someone like me because the length is perfection. The sleeve length is perfect. Everything is tailored so well to my body shape and my height. I am 160 centimeters tall, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, but I just think this is stunning. Give me a pretty white broderie anglaise dress any day, especially a mini dress, because I find in summer, although I love maxi dresses and midi dresses and they are so elegant and beautiful, a mini dress just feels a little bit more fun and a bit more girly and a bit younger and I just really love how they look. I think they are gorgeous. The detailing on this as well is just stunning. Look at that skirt detail. Got multiple layers. It's not see-through at all. It's actually kind of giving me Zimmerman vibes a little bit with all this pattern and the little skirt. I am now just so excited to book a holiday and wear this on the beach with a sun hat, basket bag, this is gorgeous. Equally, I would wear this in London during the summer as well because I feel quite covered and I don't feel too revealing. It's really lightweight and airy, so it's not gonna be too hot. It's really breathable, but also beautiful. This next outfit, I think, is one of my absolute favorites. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about these trousers because I have not taken these off since these arrived. 
when I'm working from home and at home all day, I love wearing things that still look quite smart but really comfortable. I don't really want to be wearing loungewear or like pyjamas. It's really nice to wear something a bit more tailored and these tailored trousers are a dream. Firstly, the length of these is perfection. I can wear these with flats with no problem. I don't have to take these up. They fit me around the waist perfectly. They have literally just arrived perfectly. I don't have to do anything to them, which is such a godsend because I don't think I have ever had that with a pair of trousers. There's always something that I think, oh, I could do with taking that up a little bit or taking it in or whatever. But these fit me perfectly. They are the softest, most lightweight fabric and they are the perfect shade of white. I actually had a lot of trousers like this, but Apart from one or two, a lot of them were just not the right colour. They were either way too white and almost looked cheap and like a bit bluey. They were too on the cream side and they didn't really go with anything. But these are gorgeous. I am over the moon with these trousers. And I know I will be wearing these so much in spring summer because white, wide leg tailor trousers are pretty much all I wear. Now, moving on to the waistcoat. I was so excited when I tried this on and it fit me perfectly because I find it so difficult to find waistcoats like this that are not too baggy under the arms or too boxy or too kind of like gapy and loose around the neck. It's the perfect length, it's not too long. Obviously with a waistcoat you're not tucking it in, it's kind of staying out of the trousers. So if it's too long, I feel like it just shortens my body. I, I absolutely love this outfit so much. And this is my perfect outfit for going into London for meetings. I could throw on a jacket on my shoulders. Lovely like buttermilk jacket. I could even go for like a khaki jacket, black, a white, and then do like an all white outfit. I could put a blazer on with this and have like a three piece suit. That would be beautiful. And finally, I have a shirt to show you. I am just obsessed with shirts. I love different styles of fit, different tones, maybe adding in some stripes. This shirt is just a dream. I really wanted a blue striped shirt that was predominantly blue, if that makes sense. So the background being blue and then the stripe being white. Um, I also really wanted it to be kind of like a boyfriend fit, almost like I've put Jack's shirt on, but it's been tailored for me. So the arms are perfect length but it's still got that kind of baggy effortless feel to it the way that i would style this is to tuck it up i always tuck shirts or jumpers up either tuck them into my bra or literally just roll them up and then tuck that bit into the trousers and then it just creates that really seamless tuck and you don't have um, loads of bulky fabric like tucked in around here. It's much more flattering. The arm length is just perfect. I cannot tell you how perfect. This really wide cuff is what really drew me to this shirt because I think it's just so flattering. This kind of like balloon sleeve, really, really stiff collar. So it kind of has that masculine boyfriend shirt feeling to it with that big stiff collar but it still feels like a really beautiful feminine shirt because the arm length is just perfection and it's not too much fabric or too bulky i'm always stealing jack's shirts and i'm always rolling up the sleeves to try and like shorten them and bring in some fabric this is this has just answered all my prayers and obviously your shirt is just so versatile it's so good for this time of year whether you want to lay it up with a knit pop a jacket on or a blazer over the top a trench coat you could wear it undone you could wear it tucked in even on holiday i'm always bringing a few different shirts so that i can put them on with like shorts and a bikini top when you're at the beach or the pool they're just super super easy and versatile and I just love this style of outfit at the moment wearing this with like a chunky pair of trainers maybe even like a knit on your shoulders if it's a little bit chilly for warm it's just very classic and chic and i think this style of outfit is my core staple in my spring wardrobe i have tactfully ended on this outfit because i wanted to wear this today um so that is my little try on segment for you i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think of the pieces and your favourite, to be honest, I don't think I can really pick a favourite because I absolutely love everything. The, that tweed dress and the white waistcoat, 
are just perfection but then the black dress i love wearing black in the summer when i have a bit of a tan it just looks so good so i will link all the pieces down below and there'll be information in the description box for you and yeah thank you for watching this little segment it's the afternoon i am outside i can't believe how warm it is today it's so warm i looked at the weather and i think it's about 16 degrees it is so lovely um but i really wanted to get on with some gardening because i think i said this in last week's video um but our weekends are really busy over the next couple of weeks i really want to get these jobs done so that we can start planting so i am currently cutting in a border along the back of the barn which is going to have loads of lavender on it's basically going to look exactly the same as the border that we put in last year um around this side this is kind of the back of the barn um and we planted these lavenders they were so tiny and they look incredible they've done so so well um so we wanted to kind of continue this along round to this bit um, and plant some more lavender along here because it just looks so beautiful and then i think what we'll do is plant lavender along here um, and then link it up into this little bit because i did make a little flower bed in here next to the barn so i think i'm going to continue the lavender along and have it along here as well because um, it just looks really lovely as you come onto the drive and i'm really trying to make the house look a bit nicer from the outset i mean this section over here is my worst bit it's basically our dumping ground um <laughs> which i feel like every countryside home that has a lot of work going on has a dumping ground but um this we need to work on and we might potentially do it this weekend if we've got time and um, we basically are going to have some like compost bins built in here for all the grass cuttings food waste all of that stuff and we need to get rid of all these branches and everything um, so that's a job for the boys, hopefully at the weekend. Um, but recently I've been working on this bit. Now, this grass was honestly probably all the way up to here um, on the driveway, all within the stones. It pretty much looked like this all the way around here. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been weeding this and trying to get rid of all of the grass that had embedded into the stones just to make this look a bit neater. So I still have one patch left to do here. And then what we're going to do, you can see we've got a really nice edge on the grass and I think we're going to plant something along here just to make it feel a little bit nicer. We were kind of saying maybe we should link up the lavender. Um, so the lavender will come along here and round. And then we were discussing maybe potentially bringing the lavender along the front here um, and around here just to kind of like edge the driveway and maybe put some buxus balls in between. I'm not 100% sure yet. But we've got a few ideas, but I just wanted to tidy it up and get everywhere feeling nice. So this is my afternoon project. I've got Jack's amazing wheelbarrow. He actually hasn't taken the grass cuttings out yet because of the mess over there. So we're just keeping it in here. So I'm just going to put all of the grass into here. And then that can be turned over and just kind of decompose as time goes on. Um, and the way that I do this is I literally just use a piece of wood to create the line so that it's nice and straight and then I use a really small shovel and just dig it in the ground, use my foot um, and then bend the shovel back on the wood to lift it up and then I do that all the way along until I've got a straight line um, and then I kind of go in and do it on the other side cut in like in between the lawn and then I can take it up pretty easily um, and it's just going to neaten this up so nicely. I also have one more project that I really want to work on potentially in the next couple of weeks. Um, this area here which you've probably seen loads in the vlogs we were left these kind of like galvanized steel uh, like a trough and at first I was thinking maybe we'll just get rid of it put something else here maybe some pots but I feel like it's such a shame to get rid of it because we have it and we might as well use it. So what I think I'm going to do, I don't love these trees, so I'm gonna give these to somebody else. Um, what I'm thinking to do is put loads of plants, actually um, plant loads of flowers in here. Maybe do some bay trees. I've seen some gorgeous pictures on Pinterest. I'll put some on screen. And I just think it will look so lovely and just really tie in with the rest of the flower bed over here. Um, and just be quite a nice feature point on the driveway. 
so that is a little project that I want to do. I definitely want to make sure there's some evergreen pieces in there because otherwise in the winter it's just going to look a bit sad. Like over the winter these um, trees that are currently in here that were left are always green so they always look really nice so I'm thinking to maybe do some buxus in there as well maybe some kind of tree or like I'm kind of imagining like a skinny lollipop tree that has um the evergreen qualities so it's always green because that's one thing that we really wanted to do with this area is when all the flowers aren't out we still wanted it to feel quite evergreen so we've got the buxus now we did plant one of these i actually don't know the name of this but i absolutely loved it i planted this in the winter so i think we'll get some more of these this year and just dot those in between just to kind of weave these in and out and we will definitely be getting some more lavender because that looks amazing during the winter the lavender that we have around the side there is beautiful so that will still create that full feeling but so many shoots are coming up loads of my little mascaris are coming up um, it's just looking amazing. The iris that we redistributed around here is doing so well, apart from this one bulb that I just have seen that the bunnies have dug up, um, which is really annoying. But my tulips are starting to come up, which is so exciting. I probably need to come along here and give this a bit of a weed and a tidy up. Um, I think we're going to get some more mulch at some point and just redo all the beds just to make it look nice and neat. Um, so yeah, that's another job to add to the list. But yeah, lots of shoots coming out on the dogwood. It's just feeling so exciting that spring is really, really on the way. I'm so excited about it. everyone it is the next day i have just arrived at my mum's and we are having a lovely little day today a nice spring girly day the weather is lovely it's sunny i got here relatively quickly this morning even though i could not wake up this morning because we went to bed quite late last night i was finishing off some work and i was on an absolute roll and i just didn't want to go to bed um, and jack started watching the gentleman series on netflix and he was loving it so he was like I want to watch one more and I was just sat tapping away on my laptop um but I slept really badly because my back is absolutely killing me um I've had my heated seat on to try and help my back because it's so sore I don't know what I've done I think it's where I was pulling up the grass yesterday and weeding and kind of like twisting and moving my back um, and then I was organising the barn for ages and like pulling stuff around and moving the running machine and it was so heavy and I think I've really hurt my back. I actually was thinking on the way here, it's a sign you're getting old when you use your heated seat to aid the pain in your back rather than heat you up. <laughs> but I'm just texting my mum that I'm here and we will get on the road. I don't know our plan today. I think we're just going to head into Tunbridge Wells, have a look in the Pantiles, have a look in some shops, maybe go to Home Sense and just have a nice little girly day, which is really lovely. I think I've mentioned before, but my mum is moving house um, very soon and it is a, it has been a very stressful process. I think buying houses is so intense and lots of things have gone wrong and it's been very stressful. So we're just having today to just enjoy each other's company have a bit of a chill and then it's kind of all systems go from here i'm going to be helping her a lot so yes there's going to be a lot going on in the next couple of weeks it's my birthday there's lots happening um but it's sunny well relatively sunny and it's 12 degrees right now so i am not complaining i freshly washed my hair this morning I haven't washed my hair since monday and it's lasting so much better since i've had it dyed i think when it's a little bit blonder, I just find it doesn't get greasy at all. Nowhere near as quick. And like, to be honest, I could have done another day today. But we're going out for dinner tonight with Jack's family for um, his dad's birthday and his grandpa's birthday. So I thought I better wash my hair and get it nice and fresh. And then it'll be all good for the weekend. But I can see my mum in the wing mirror. So, move my bag out of the way. Oh, I've locked the car. I will catch up with you when we are on our route. Hello! <laughs> 
Okay, we have just arrived in Phoenix and we're gonna get coffee. Um, what are you having? Are you eating? Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, maybe I'll have a croissant or maybe, I think I'll have a pan of raisin. Yeah, me too. It's a bit noisy in here, but I have got, well we've both got a chai latte, um, not a chai latte, pan of raisin. Mum has got Americano with hot milk and I have got a chai latte, which I haven't had for so long. Um, but I just really fancied it and it's an actual tea, which I haven't had before. Usually it's like um, just a powder, so yeah, lovely. Right, we finished coffee. We're just having a look around Fennec. I absolutely love, these are lovely. Bergamot. Oh, that smells really, smell this. That is so nice. Bergamot and musk. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? Oh, I really like that. I wonder how much these diffusers are. 29, that's not too bad. Got different fragrances. Oh yeah, oh Fig. rose, I bet that's nice. Oh, yeah. 35 pounds for the candle. Oh, well, that's nice. That's really good, 35 pounds. When you think dip tea are like 60. Mind you, dip tea currently. Oh, but that smells amazing. Oh, that's unusual. I really like the branding I like as well. The yeah, that's a nice one, that grey. Yeah. Oh, loads of nice things. Mum has just been looking at this blanket. Fluffy. My camera, yeah. I absolutely love the home stuff in here. Oh look, another. <laughs> you really wanted to sit down. <laughs> Imagine if I sat down. <laughs> oh look who it is. This candle brand looks lovely as well. Velvet peony. Oh, that's a nice present. Oh, that is. Cherry blossom. Oh, oh, smell that. We have, when we were having a coffee, we just made friends with this little boy called Dennis. And we keep seeing him everywhere and he's so cute. He keeps like really smiling and waving at us. Smell this. Oh, Cherry blossom, that's nice. What are you looking at? The little candle. Yeah. I've actually got one of those have on you? Amazon. Oh, that's nice as well. Oh, I think you'll like that one. Mm. That's really nice. Like that's Dennis. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> what else? Oh god, they've got so many candles. Molten brown. Oh, I do love a bit of molten brown. This is the scent in my office. Orange and bergamot. Oh, that just reminds me of my office. Gorgeous. So many nice bits in here at the moment. This is the one in Tunbridge Wells, by the way, if you're wondering. This is very nice. Very Zara Home-esque. Oh, I really like these mugs. They're cool. They're kind of like Zara, Zara Home. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, these would be nice in your garden with some candles in. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, are these water glasses? I like those. Are they? Oh, they can't for candles. Yeah. That's not a glass. No, that's for a candle. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice. I like those. Yeah. With a little tea light. Ooh, that's lovely. I really like this selection. Yeah. It's a bit rustic. This is lovely. Mm, that is nice. It's super big. Cheese boards. You know I always bang on about faux flowers and the section, I think it's, here we go, Harlain Flora in Fennec is absolutely insane. Look at the size of these hydrangeas, that is huge. I love these as well. They're definitely not cheap, they're quite expensive, but £11 per one of these stems, which is a lot, but... If you just get a couple of these and add them into different bouquets, they are beautiful. Oh, I really like this book. <laughs> Setting the natural table, that's gorgeous. 
How lovely. So many nice bits in here. What's mum looking at? A pasta maker. <laughs> oh, that's a really good present, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, we've left the centre and we are heading into the Cotswold Company just to have a little browse because I absolutely love this shop. It's so gorgeous. Actually, I've been looking online at some of the side tables. Oh, 40% off Easter event. So beautiful in here. Good evening, everyone. I am back home. I actually got home a little while ago, but I've just been on my laptop and I'm ready for dinner. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing before we head out for dinner with Jack's family. I've got this blouse on, which is so incredible. This is from H&M. I don't know if they still stock this. They did it in black and also this really lovely nude color. I just love this. I really am lacking, well, I was lacking really nice tops, kind of long sleeve going out tops that I can just chuck on with leather trousers in the winter, jeans in the summer, shorts, just like different tops that are really pretty. And I haven't worn this ages and I just love it. So I'm wearing this with my jeans that are from Reese. They're a little wide leg. Let me bring you down and hopefully you can see. Wide leg jeans. I've got my suede brown boots on from Zara. Then Celine belt. And this jacket is new. This is from W Concept. It's from a brand called Dunst. And I just think that this jacket is gorgeous. I love the buttermilk creamy color of this. It's so nice in comparison to a white jacket. And it's really nicely made. So I've just popped this on my shoulders as well. Kind of just conceals the flower while we have some champagne and um, see Jack's family. And then when we go for dinner, I'll just take my jacket off. So yeah, that's the outfit. And I've also got my... YSL bag to match my belt. <laughs> my makeup is pretty much the same, but I've just added some eyeshadow just to jazz it up for the evening. Oh, and then my earrings are little Astrid and Miu hoops with pearls in. Really pretty. And that's it. Ready for dinner. I'm very much looking forward to a nice evening. And... Yeah, you haven't put the envelopes. Oh, I haven't got to sign it. Oh, okay. Love Jack and Lauren. Good morning from a very puffy faced me. I have the puffiest face right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I am tired. We've had too many late nights this week and I just can't hack a late night, honestly. I don't know how people do it, but I'm still trying to wake up at the same time every morning, even if we go to bed late, just to keep my body clock going the same. So I woke up at half five and I actually ended up laying in bed for about two hours, <laughs> just laying like, I'm so tired. But anyways, last night was so lovely. We had such a nice time. It's just so wonderful spending time with family and just laughing and catching up and chatting about things. And we definitely don't see um, our families as much as we used to. I think as you get older and you have your own home and you have so much going on in your life and you just, you just get older, you end up having so much going on and it's hard to find the time to do things like that. So... It's really lovely and I do think that both of our families always make such an effort to do things and celebrate the special occasions and things like that and I'm just so grateful to have such amazing family members around us. We just had such an incredible time. We went to a Chinese restaurant um, local to us which is our absolute favourite one. We go there so much and the staff are incredible, they are so lovely, hilarious and it's such such good food. Um, we just love it there. I wanted to show you um, the bits that I picked up yesterday. I didn't go crazy. I just got a couple of little bits. Um, but I thought I would show you. One of my favourite shops in Tumbridge Wells is Biggie Best. It is so beautiful. It's an independent kind of homeware lifestyle boutique. I could actually buy so many things in there. Um, but I really wanted to get some little bits for my tablescapes. I'm actually hosting for Easter weekend, Easter Sunday. 
just my family um, and I always just love the opportunity to create a really nice tablescape and I wanted to add little touches of blue this time because as you know I'm loving blue at the moment whether it's like my outfits or interiors I'm just really liking it for spring summer and I don't actually have any blue kind of like dining wear or tableware so I saw these napkins and I just thought they were gorgeous lovely periwinkle powdery blue I love this cream design on here it's just so pretty and um, they come in a set of four and these were 20 pounds which I think is really good just a little square napkin and I think for my tablescape I'm gonna do just like really crisp white tablecloth and then little touches of blue with the napkins and flowers and I think it's gonna look lovely gosh I look very tired today <laughs> I'm having a no makeup day and I've just got like house stuff to do today so it's a nice cozy Friday just before we went back into the car we popped into the range and I love looking around at the range, B&M, Home Bargains. You can just find such great pieces in there for really good prices. And it just shows that if you hunt around and shop around and look in all the shops, you really don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really beautiful piece. I also love finding a bargain of something that's really beautiful. So I picked up a couple of faux flower stems I just love faux flowers. I think they are such a great way to accessorize a space. And I actually think faux flowers are a really nice gift because when you buy someone flowers, they're obviously gonna die, but faux flowers are such a nice alternative because you're always gonna have them. And I saw these and I just loved the blue color. Really beautiful, so soft. I love the detail of these and they're really long stems. So they're quite versatile. You can probably do quite a lot with these. And these, I think these were around two pounds a stem. Nothing has the prices on. So I don't actually really remember the prices, but I'm pretty sure these were about two pounds for a stem, which is incredible. And the ones that I was showing you in Fenix, these are very similar. So if you were to get a couple of stems from Fenix, maybe some on Amazon, my blue hydrangeas here are, I don't know if you can see them, these ones are Amazon ones. You can really create a big, bouquet and just kind of pick and choose little bits and different prices but I think for my tablescape I want to do something little touches of blue white blossom I might cut some blossom branches off just have a bit of a play around so I'm sure I'll be showing you that in a vlog coming soon and then I got some frames because the frames in the range were absolutely incredible I was so impressed with the amount of stock and the variety that they had um, I know I mentioned in the vlog recently that I wanted to have some frames on this wall with the little blue egg photos. I really like them. Um, so when I saw these, I thought they would be perfect for in here because they're very similar colouring to the feather prints. And I really like this soft kind of washed wood effect in here. I think it looks really lovely. So I got three of these, they are seven by five. So they're quite small, but I think on that wall, they're gonna look really nice. Let me, let me try and show you what I'm imagining. So I'm kind of thinking to have the three of them along this wall like this, and I think they're gonna look really nice. I might actually put these up today so I can see what they look like and then order the prints to go in here. But these actually came with a mount, which is really nice. I always bang on about how I love frames and artworks that have mounts in them because I think it just makes them look a little bit more expensive and a bit more finished. I think these were about three pounds a frame, which is incredible because they look so, so nice. And then I got a slightly bigger one. This is 16 by 12 for our bedroom because I really want to start adding some more personal photos, memories of Jack and I, family, just loads of different types of photos that really encapsulate memories. So it's definitely something I'm trying to add into the house, just to add a bit more personality because we have a lot of artwork pieces that are kind of landscapes or like the feathers behind me, but we don't really have many actual photos. So that's definitely something I want to add. Um, this one was, I think, six pounds, and then the mount was three pounds. They had a massive selection of mounts, actually. So if you have frames and you're looking to get a mount, I mean, obviously you could look on Amazon, but if you're local to Tunbridge Wells, it's definitely worth heading into the range because they had so many, all different sizes, incredible prices. Um, and this frame is kind of like a linen-y effect. It's not linen, obviously, but it's just this 
almost like a grey beige tone with a little bit of silver and our bedroom has touches of silver in it with other photo frames and little bits and bobs so I think that is going to look really lovely with a black and white photo in it. So now I need to get ordering some prints and photos. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching as always. And all the details from the Petite Studio buy on session will be down below. I do have a discount code. I would have put it on the screen and I'll link all the pieces and everything in the description box. And I will see you on Monday for another video. Bye.